What's going on everybody? Doc here from The Average Gamer Guys. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping in, checking this out. We are going to be working on some settlement improvements today. If you're a fan of Last Day on Earth or of... What's going on everybody? Doc here, Average Gamer Guys. Thanks for stopping into this one, checking this out, some Last Day on Earth content. If you're a fan of the main channel, you know that we posted this just a little bit, been a big fan of Last Day on Earth. have played it pretty consistently over the last couple of years. And uh, diving back into it. Settlement game. Haven't have done a lot and have subsequently also not done a lot. So we're going to dive in. We're going to continue today to work on our settlement. The series is just going to be some, basically us just doing some daily plays, clearing some locations, having some fun, talking about tips, tricks. We'll talk about any of the new updates. I do, and in the near future, we do have the Dragon Off as part of the season pass. We actually just got it unlocked. Um, so we might work for a little bit longer, see if we can get that up and uh, take that new weapon for a spin. But today, today, settlement is something that I have not dived into a whole lot. And I want to be able to do that. And I want to continue to upgrade it. We started out building our settlement pretty terribly. Um, so don't roast me too much in the comments. We've got a really bad, we've got a really bad settlement <laughs> setup. What I'm trying to do is work to expand this. Uh, we do have power down. We have basically level two of just about everything. What I want to work on today is just continuing to build this out. I really want to frame out um, basically a really large square, put walls up around everything, and then start to expand each of these buildings. I think our storehouse is going to need to be pretty big for every, excuse me, for everything that we're going to throw in there. I need to get some other power. I'm, I'm looking to maybe place a generator in this open spot here in the middle. Hopefully we can look to do that. But today, the main goal, we have been working pretty diligently on upgrading all of our stuff. I want to get barracks up. We're starting to get some good mercenaries. I really, really want to try to find this last antenna. We need one more. It then opens up expeditions level three for us, which would be really, really big. And expeditions here, you can see we're actually doing pretty good. We're 20 of 40 on Ghost Town and we're 12 of 40 on Destroyed Station. But I'd like to see what Old Trade Station is going to bring us and see if we can't continue to grind up some better daily rewards. The other thing I am looking at, and we'll try to go clear maybe today, is the port. I need to continue to finish filling this stuff out. Specifically wires, aluminum cable, uh, and hoses seem to be my uh, my big hold up here. So we've got the drone. We've got a whole bunch of good stuff here for us to do. We're working on the garage as well. Uh, but that's where we want to go, and that's what I want to jump into today. So I'm going to swap over, and then we're going to jump over into clearing out factory, uh, which pretty much should guarantee us the last antenna we need, which would be absolutely great. I'm going to do a few things here. Creating pine um, has been, like, the biggest need. The other thing that I am working hard on is getting some some things upgraded for us. Uh, some storage specifically my base is very well built out I've played this game for a long time and I, I just I come back to it every once in a while and this new update really had me jump in I'm excited about it I'm excited about what they were able to bring I'm excited for the new dragon off I would really really like to see them finally allow us to have the repair station I am far from free to play as well in case you could not tell Probably spent too much money, honestly. But we got VIP 10 status, which is uh, super helpful in these regards. So we're going to go, we're going to clear Abandoned Factory. All right, right now, short little breakfast break. Bite. Bite of breakfast. Now, <clears throat> the big benefit of having VIP 10 is I get this gun, which is really good. Free durability. I don't... <clears throat> if you spend money, getting up to level 10, very beneficial. If you can get there. Otherwise, there's some other VIP status level stuff that's pretty good. The extra storage is pretty nice. Oh, I forgot my things. Oh, we're going to be able to clear half of this and then have to come back. 
I always forget to bring the circuits. Always. Literally always. One thing I don't like about this location. I'm fine with like the one-time build stuff. I don't like having to build this stuff over and over and over again like this location requires of you. Not a big fan of that. Uh, <clears throat> this location, though, I really do think is, is relatively easy to... Is relatively easy to uh, to knock out melee weapons. There's nothing really overly difficult here. Just have some decent armor. Use your sneak. There's a lot of good opportunities to sneak here. I don't do that, obviously, because we're just using the gun, but... Floaty bloaters. All right, I think we're stuck now at this point. Turn this here, that here. I gotta clear this out so I can turn the knob. Okay, I'm gonna have to run back to base <sighs> and grab some of those things and we'll head back. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to go do the junkyard on the way. Actually, I'm going to do the junkyard after. All right, we made it. We've got everything we need. Threw a few things there. We're not going to need. Didn't realize that was a raider right off the rip. Because I'm not paying attention. I'm gonna go ahead and use our skill here. This one I don't find to be too difficult to clear. Um, but certainly does use up. Unfortunately, uses up a lot of armor. Typically. Search the bikes along the way. For the junkyard, this is actually probably one of the better ones. I think the, the zombie mobs are actually harder if you just bring... You need guns for this, but if you bring decent guns... Sometimes you still die. Okay. We made it back. Good thing I brought some spare armor. I was talking about how I thought this one was pretty easy. Essentially, once they run out of ammo, it's not bad. That wasn't great, though. I'm being honest. I would really like to see these guys actually give more guns. <clears throat> Especially if you come in here and take them out, you know? They're essentially using up with their durability, but... It's like... Can't stop that, you know? Knock them out. <clears throat> Sorry, dead dude. I'm going to take your treasures, though, and all of the gas. Just make sure this is clear. Let's see what we get from this. Honestly, not too bad. Seen better. I've seen worse. I want to make sure we hang on to those things. These things probably. Let's fill our tank back up here. Excuse me. Alright. Let's quickly grab the rest of this stuff that we can find. This is why I actually like this one 
comparatively to the one with the zombies because even after you clear the zombies you still get a bunch of the zombie waves which is like it's fine this one i do feel like is just a little bit easier you don't have that extra fight just drop all those off at the storage this I'll just drop all this stuff off need any of it good location though difficult location but good location if you need supplies parts especially engine parts if you're working on generators the settlement whatever requires it okay we have the capacitors. I think that's what they're called. We're going to head back to the abandoned factory. What are these? Transistors. Sorry, I said capacitors. Same difference. I always bring a stack of 20. That's more than enough to be able to take this down, open everything up, get access to everything. Again, we should clear this relatively quickly I probably don't need to fix that one because I think that one does the gate but I fix it anyways so we got out of this this can sometimes have some decent stuff in it sometimes it has absolutely poopy garbage though usually you can find some of these transistors in here holy c4 okay well that first one being really terrible. Uh, got made up for by that one being really, really great. That was pretty cool. I honestly didn't even know you could get a seat for there. Alright, so we're gonna clear these out. This is another great area. You can you can really get some good stealth kills here. You could probably just about stealth kill or stealth fought mostly everything if we really wanted to. Excuse you. I'm doing stuff. I wish I could put that stuff in there. I cannot. This open, take care of these guys. Check this. Good food. All right, cut this off. This this package usually isn't great. Yeah. But this is what we want. <clears throat> we need one more satellite dish. Decent package right there. I think we're a little backwards here. Usually got some traps and some stuff that needs to be cleared out. Here they are. Right. Electricity off. Trist I already did that. That was interesting. That's not usually how that one's set up. We did not get our satellite dish. At least from that. What am I missing here? Let's check this. My last hope. There it is. Boom, baby. 
Let's go. There we go. Turn the gas off. Even though it's still hurt. We got what we needed. Happy about that. Gonna be able to get headquarters up to level... Headquarters? Level 3. I believe. And we should also check this. This package usually isn't great for clearing it either. Not terrible, just not great. Put that in storage. All right, back to our base. Unload, upgrade, do what we need to do. Okay, we got everything dropped off, put away. We got our last dish here. Boom. Finalize. Headquarters level three. Looking real good. Look at all those lights. And now, we should have access to old train station expeditions. Let's jump into these. Man, the, the required gear score, 2275, is really high. Let's see how this one goes. We need to upgrade our van a lot more. These mercenaries are all pretty high for us. The van may not survive. Okay, we made it. Man, I think the rewards here, I didn't even look at what the rewards could be. We shouldn't have too much of a problem with this. We got riot zombies. That's kind of, that kind of sucks. I need the turret to get back up. But one guy is just getting smoked here. Slow everything down. Get our wall back up. This is a tough one. This is tough. He's not going to be able to, he's not going to survive long enough to get the wall up. We could take out some of the backline guys. Like the toxic spitter there. Man, these riot zombies are tough. There we go. Nice. Wow. Those are some good rewards though. I mean, 10 slate is huge. We get a reanimator. The resin's pretty good too. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Let's see if we can, see if we can get one more round in. I don't have, I have this sense we're not gonna win this one. Dude, he insta-killed him. Well, this isn't too bad so far. I was hoping the shield might save him, but no such luck. Put the turret down. This guy with this toxic flamethrower thing is pretty damn good. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Woo! That's rough. We might be able to beat it if we bring the guy in. I can auto shot and use the skill to blow up the exploding zombies. But that's pretty tough. That is pretty tough. Let's take a quick look at potential rewards, though. Gosh, look at that. Eight aluminum cable, ten iron sheet. That is really good. Get some auto rations, metal iron parts. Look at that, two pumps. 
Wow. And then as the regular reward, resin, some glass. These rewards are really good. Chipboard. We'll have to work on continuing to do those. Continue to level our team up. I really got to do some work to get the van up, I think. My ability to do damage is pretty low. We're only here at level 6. The, the hard part is I just don't like using the rubber hose. We need so much rubber hose. We need so many aluminum wires to do the rest of these upgrades that uh, it's just tough. We're going to grab this stuff, though. I do really want to finish walls just to get this done. I like that there's a lot to do here. Some of the requirements just to get access to some of the stuff feels a little crazy. Like and like here, I'd like to continue to upgrade some of our some of our mercenaries. I think would be really helpful, but this is a big ask too in terms of getting some stuff done. So we'll file some of this stuff away. I think I have some slate already. I do. It's nice. We're starting to stack up some supplies here though, which is pretty good. It's not too bad. That was pretty good. All right, I think we're going to wrap it here. <clears throat> um, I think we'll probably in the next one, we'll jump into and probably record it here pretty quick, but uh, jump into going and taking out, um, I don't know, Port Lavatory or heading over and uh, taking out uh, the Transport Hub. Probably do that to continue to pick up some supplies and uh, maybe get some base building done as well if we can continue to build up. But I hopefully enjoyed this one. Thanks for uh, stopping in. Thanks for checking this out. If you're a fan of Last Day on Earth content, uh, we're definitely going to continue to try uh, to get this stuff up with a regular cadence. Um, our AGG Extra channel here is just kind of a compository uh, and kind of a variety channel for all the other games that we're having fun with. So uh, mobile games, playing other PC games as well. And uh, so if you're interested, take a look at that. Got some other playlists probably up and going as we get things on this channel started here. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'm going to flash some socials at you. Like, comment, subscribe. We do appreciate all the support on the YouTube channel. Help this one grow. Um, we would really appreciate that. And stay tuned. And if there's anything Last Day on Earth specific that you want me to talk about, again, I've been playing the game for a long time. So plenty of experience to help you here. And uh, let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully you're having a good day. And thanks again for stopping in. I've been Doc. Every camera, guys. Catch you in the next video. Peace.